today we are going to be doing an oil change. Very simple, everybody should know how to do it. Tires, brakes, oil. If you don't work on cars, you should at least know how to do this. Save yourself a penny. Super easy. Today, we're gonna to be using my wife's 2016 Hyundai Sonata. Anyways, the process is simple. Jack the car up, remove the drain plug, drain all the oil out, replace the drain plug. Remove the filter, let it all hang out. Replace the filter, put more oil in it, start it up, check your level, good to go. Let's do it. Okay, first things first, we need to jack it up. Now, I just have a regular, this is a one and a half ton jack. Technically, it's too small, because this is only good for 3,000 pounds. This is only good for like 3,000 pounds. This car weighs like 32, 34, something like that. But we're gonna make it happen. Ideally, you wanna use jack stands, but all my jack stands are under the Ranger right now. So I can't do that. Anyways, so it's pretty simple. <clears throat> so, come under your car, look for a lift point. We are gonna use the pinch weld right there, okay? That pinch weld is one of the stronger parts of the car. And it'll allow for a good lifting surface. Now, underneath it, all this black right here is just very soft. It's plastic, so if you lift up on that, you're gonna break it. Here we're gonna lift up the rear. Same thing, pinch weld right there. You don't really have any options on these cars. What I'm doing is making sure the jack is nice and centered because when you pick it up, the jack is technically gonna pull this way a little bit, so the wheels are gonna have to go that way. So just trying to make it centered so everything balanced. So I jacked it up enough to where I can get underneath the car. Even though I'm a little bit, you know, bigger. You ain't gotta have much. Just enough to get your shoulders, some of your chest in. Now an important thing to remember is always set your brake. You don't want it rolling. That's kind of bad. It is a very large, very heavy machine. While you're in there, pop the hood. We're gonna need that eventually. Might as well do it now. We're gonna be using Valvoline Full Synthetic 5W30 and STP Extended Life Filter because it was on sale. And that's how you do it. We have this piece of cardboard here. Uh, the reason why is because this isn't my property, right? So I'm gonna try to keep it as clean as possible. You know, changing oil is not that easy. Like, it's easy to get messy, but it's also easy to stay clean, right? I mean, I'm doing this in a white t-shirt. It's probably still gonna be white at the end of this. But because it's not mine, in case anything were to happen, I wanna try to keep the driveway as clean as possible. So we're gonna take that cardboard, open it up, lay it underneath the car where we're gonna be working, and I'm also going to be laying on top of that anyways. So kind of a cushion for us and it's also clean for the, the cement. Now we shimmy on under here. Now looking under here, try to give you guys the best view I can. Here's your oil filter, all right? Oil filter housing, feed and return hoses, cool. This side over here, this side over here is gonna be your passenger side of the vehicle. This side over here is gonna be your driver's side, and this is the front. So, come on back a little bit. This right here is your engine block. You get a good block, whatever. This is your oil pan, meaning that is your oil drain plug. Oh, so your oil drain plug, this one's actually leaking. I should have got, should have got a new plug. I didn't, but here we are. Uh, next time I need to. So figure out what size that is. I think it's a 15, 14 or 15. Take that out. Have your catch can under it. I'll get a video of that. Don't even worry. And uh, try not to get messy. All right, guys, we're under the car. Just another refresher of where we're at. This right here is driver's side. This right here is passenger side. This is our block. It's right here is an oil drain plug. So we're gonna take it out. So I got a socket. I got a 16 millimeter, I think this says. That is not the size. Okay, real fast. Here's why you should get married. Watch this. Hey woman, it's 17 millimeter. And that's how you do it right there. Boom. Anyways, make sure your drain plug is under it, okay? Make sure your ratchet is set to off so you can take it off. If you're using a wrench, just go lefty loosey. Go ahead and break it loose. Ah. Put a little grunt on it. Break it loose. Now once it's loose, you can do it by hand. The technique, oh, Jesus. the technique to stay clean, you're gonna push in while you're unscrewing, and then once you think it's loose, you snatch your hand back and try to get all the oil 
into your pan. I'm gonna try to do it here. All right, so you're pushing in and you're twisting. Right when you think it's about out, you're just gonna snatch your hand back. So, I'm out, down. Look at that. Our lineal on me. Go and set right here. Now just let all this drain out. It's gonna take a while. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab your filter, all right? Pull it out. Here's your filter, what it looks like, all right? Take your finger, get some oil on there. Now trace it around this O-ring here, all right? You want a thin film of oil on that O-ring to act as a lubricant and to help it seal. Now we wait. All right, so you see our stream is right about there. So it's getting ready to be done. We got most of it out. I'm gonna take, I just like to clean it up just for the sake of not having to deal with it. And if we're looking at it, our threads are fine. Threads look fine. No big deal there, okay? I think the thread inside the oil pan might be a little buggered up. So that's something that we'll look at if it really becomes an issue, we'll look at replacing it, but it's not an issue right now. We're gonna go ahead, slap this back in there, thread it in. All right. Now we're done with this, kind of. We're gonna push it back. We still need it for the filter, and the filter is usually the messy part. So, turn this to where it's putting it back on, tighten the bad boy back up. Now, when you tighten it, you don't need to go all He-Man on it. So look, that's snug right there. I can put a little pressure on it. Put a little pressure on it, so I'm just gonna one finger pull, get a little rotation, that's good. This right here, it's your oil filter, all right? We're gonna take that out. Now, when you take these out, do be a little careful. They can be messy. We're actually going to adjust our little platform here. Just a little bit. Yeah, because, uh, like I said, it's kind of messy. So put that in the middle. Pull this out. Now these things, depending on who put it on, can be really stuck on there. So, crack it open. There we go. Now you're gonna notice, oil's gonna start licking down on it. That's just how it happens. So, keep your pan underneath it. Nice and oily. Let that drain out for a second. You got a towel, don't wipe your hand off. You can wear gloves. I don't wear gloves. That don't mean you don't have to wear gloves. Just do whatever you want. Gloves help you clean. I just don't like not having as much touch on my fingers. Take your new filter. We got all the lubrication on the O-ring. It's got a thread on the inside of it right here. Pop that up there, twist it on. Make sure you get it started good. Like that. All right. Tight. We'll wipe it off. Now, tightness on these are important. You over tighten it, you're going to mess up this, this, uh, the O-ring. It's going to leak. You don't tighten it enough, O-ring ain't working. It's going to leak. So, what you do, get it tight like that. Give it about a quarter turn. So, just lie that there. That's all it is. So now what we gotta do, pull this pan out, let the car down, and I'll see you on the top side. All right, we got Valvoline Full Synthetic 5W30. Now, look over here, your oil filter cap. I'll play a little clip so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So if you look on your oil filter cap, you know, here's top of your engine. All right there, it says SAE 5W20, all right? It'll say on there what kind of oil yours takes. If it's a new car, it probably takes OW20, 30, something like that. This one says 5W20. This is 530, really not that big of a deal. The car has a lot of miles on it. I typically run a thicker oil just because it kind of keeps the car from leaking oil. 
things you run into. Anyways, this part's super duper simple. Take your oil filter cap, pop it off. Just twist off a little plastic piece just like this. Not a big deal. Valvoline is nice enough that they now have special pour spouts so it's super easy to pour like this, right? Now, if you have the older style where it's just a round spot, you don't pour it like, so this one you're gonna pour it like this, right? You got a spout, you're gonna lean over, you're gonna pour it right in there. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. The older ones are actually gonna pour it like this over the top because that allows air to come in, kind of like we talked about filling up the radiator in the last video. There's no cavitation because of air vacuum, all right? You pour it over the backside, air can come in the top, pushes the oil out, then it bada bing, bada boom, no spilt oil. So this car takes like 4.7 quarts. We're gonna give it five to be spicy. All right, five quarts in. Now, something I didn't mention, when you change your oil, have your car warm, right? Doesn't make a difference in the long run. By the way, just get that hand tight. Uh, doesn't make a difference in the long run, but it kind of does. When your car is warm, the oil is warm, so the viscosity is higher, it comes out easier, whatever. Also, now that we've got the oil filled, we're gonna start the car, let it run 10, 20 seconds, cut it off, come over and check your oil. Right through here where your dipstick, usually it's red or orange. Actually, it's not red. Red is automatic transmission fluid. Should be orange. This is like an off color Hyundai. I don't know. So, while she's running, we're gonna look underneath, make sure there ain't no oil pouring out of the, the filter or the drain plug. If there is, you got problems. All right, car ran 10, 20 seconds, no oil leaking out anywhere. Pull your dipstick out. All right, we're gonna go and clean it off because you don't want the old oil on there. Now, you see there how it has that two dots? It says F and L, F over here, L on the other side. That means full and low. And that only reads for if it's hot. That's another reason you want your engine warm, all right? So you want your oil, ideally, to be at or slightly above full. Stick her back down in the dipstick tube. And the dipstick tube. Pull back out. And looky there. It's actually right at full. It's actually right at full. That's what we want. So, oil change is complete. Now, since we're working on this car, and this is a car that my wife drives all the time, we need wipers. Okay, they really wanna make a full video out of this because this is not that hard of a thing. Everybody needs to know how to do it. Hey, windshield wiper, right? Pop that, I don't know if you saw that, it's got squeezies, pull the squeezies. Flip it on, flip it down, there you go. Pop it out, I'm done. Nice and simple, I need that. Now, when you're at the store, Unless you just know by heart, swallow your pride, look at the book, the book tells you everything you need to know, okay? We needed a 26 inch and an 18 inch wiper blade, all right? Driver side 26, passenger side 18. Now in Alabama, well, how much rain we've gotten this year, it's about mandatory. Now I will say, I know a lot of y'all watching this thing, oh, Preston is perfect, he's making videos, he knows exactly what he's doing. Let me tell you a quick story about a time I didn't exactly know. It involved my wife's car, except that was then and this is now. So what happened is I replaced them. I was a cocky young 17 year old. I knew exactly how to replace windshield wipers, but I didn't account for it flying off on the interstate. So take your time, do it so the first time you ain't gotta do it again, okay? <laughs> Definitely keeping that laugh in. You know, these aren't gonna work. Why? They're not J hook compatible. Huh. I gotta remove the store. You still have the receipt I gave you? It's in the car. All right, you can stop the video now. So anyways, got these little clips right here. Squeeze them. Back pops up. Slip it over. Or pull it down. Push it down. Slide it out. Cool. Done with that. Whenever you go to get your wipers, all right, slow down, look at the book, all right? I filmed this section once, now I'm filming it a second time. Why, you may ask? 
they got the wrong wipers. If you don't know, wipers do not all have the same kind of attaching mechanism, right? Some of them have some clips that pop into whatever sections, fine. However, seems like a lot of Japanese cars and like cars that you would normally see, I would say. I don't know, don't quote me on that. They have what's called J-hooks, right? So on the wiper arm, got an actual J, it's just a clip, all right? Cool, so what you're gonna do? Just close it right here. Pop, it's got these two little squeezy things like I was talking about, pop that up. Slide the hook in through this section right here, it's a hole. You're gonna pop this section open, the hook is gonna go over this little rod that's inside of it, okay? Little rod that's right on the inside of it. You may not be able to see it, I'll be all right. See it in action. Slide it through the hole, wham. Slide it over this little clip, pull it up till it snaps, Set that down, wipers. Okay, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you wanna see. Uh, you know, today we did an oil change and wiper blades. Uh, last video we did a radiator install, which is something that not many people even think about. Uh, so if you wanna see brakes or you wanna see I had to clean your car. I mean, I can do stuff like that. So just anything you want to see, whether it be car, food, house, general houseware, work, DIY, anything you want to see. What? Not clean. Yeah, not cleaning. I don't clean. If you want to see my wife clean, let me know. I'll just shoot her for a little bit. Anyways, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my Facebook page. Uh, I'm not very active, as you guys know, but I am trying. I'm just lazy. Thanks for watching.